Hello guys, in this video we want to learn about REST API URL naming convention or best practices about URL naming. Here there is a key role. Any information that can be named can be a resource, a document or image, and temporal service. For example, today's weather in Los Angeles. A collection of other resources, a non-virtual object. For example, a person. This key role is from an article by Roy Thomas Fielding. I strongly recommend to study this article completely. You can find the complete article here. This is the architectural styles and the design of network-based software architecture by Roy Thomas Fielding. Collection resource should be separated from singleton resource. For example, a slash students is a collection, but a students a student ID is singleton. A slash profiles is collection, but profiles a slash user ID is singleton. A slash attachments is a collection, but a slash attachments file id is singleton so firstly you should use plural as a collection and after that you can use the id for singleton in this example you can see that the request mapping is api students there are two http get method one of them is read all that return a list of students and the other one is read which just return an student. In this method, we used a student ID in order to find just an specify student. If your resource has a sub-resource, you should address it like departments slash department ID slash lectures. It means all lectures of computer department, for example. Or departments slash department ID slash lectures slash lecture ID means a specified math class in computer department. For example, in this example, like the previous one, we have API departments. But after that, we get department ID to find all lectures, like this API, read all, which return a list of lectures. But if we want to get an specified lecture, we should address it like this department id slash lectures slash lecture id this api return an specified lecture we can find it with this id some notation for indicating hierarchical relationships we should use a slash for example, departments slash department ID, which means an specified department. After that, slash lectures, it means all lectures from an specified department. And after that, slash lecture ID means an specified lecture between all lectures of a department. A slash at the end of URI is useless. For example, this a slash doesn't mean anything. 
For improving readability, you can use hyphens, but underline is not a good option because some browsers have problem with parsing underlines. So user management should be user hyphen management. It's better than user management with underline. Also, always using lowercase letters. Using uppercase is not a good option. Do not use crowd function name. HTTP request methods are doing that. For example, when you use HTTP GET, API slash user management users means get all users. So there is no need to specify the word get or HTTP post in API user management user means create a user. So it's not a good option to use create in API URL naming. Also, if you want to get an specify object, HTTP get with ID is enough. It means get a user with given ID. Also, we use HTTP put in order to update an object like this API user management slash users slash ID. It means update user with given ID. Also, HTTP delete API slash user management slash user slash ID means delete user with given id so there is no need to use these words you can use verbs to indicate the jobs for example if you want to report from data you can use this url api slash user management slash users slash report the report verbs means you want to report data there is no need to use extension in URL. For example, if the format of your report is Excel, there is no need to use like this. And instead of that, you can use content type in header. If this video was useful, please subscribe our channel and give us support to grow.